When you ask who has opened eyes in spring camp to a man, the name Cody Reed seems to be a consensus answer. Reed is very, very impressive to me. He's different than a lot of guys. This kid here uh, really looks comfortable on the mound and, and he's got uh, the stuff to go along with it. And I told uh, the guys in the meetings before spring training, I said everybody's going to be wanting this guy and everybody's going to be looking at him because he is that good. Those comments will be welcomed in Reds country since Reed might end up being the key to the Johnny Cueto trade. The big lefty from Memphis via Mississippi has risen through the ranks quickly. As soon as I was trading, you know, I was talking to agents and a lot of the front office guys, and they were saying it's a great opportunity for you, you know, a system you can success. If you're successful, you know, you can move up throughout the ranks, and that's just, you know, a team that's wanted me that, that much to trade someone like Johnny Cueto is definitely another confidence boost for me, you know, to keep working my way up through the ranks. Reed knows that his name for the foreseeable future will be attached to Johnny Cueto. That might irritate some, but not Cody. He carries it as a badge of honor. It's the way it is. It's the way the game is. For someone like that, you know, your name is kind of going to be attached to his, and hopefully I can, you know, fill his shoes one day, you know, and help out the team as best as I can. Reed is rated as one of the top 100 prospects in all of baseball, but it certainly wasn't always that way. You could say he's a bit of a late bloomer, all of which he blames on himself. I was drafted in 2013, went through a short season Idaho Falls, and I don't think you could have a worse season, you know, and then I, the next year I go, bumped up to a full year team in, in low A Lexington and I guess I realized that I could have a worse season than the first one so I did and I you know battled through it you know had a couple of injuries throughout that year you know a couple of setbacks but that off season after that Lexington year I really took it serious and really wanted to focus on it and uh, it just kind of showed in 2015. Reed is not your typical highly touted prospect he told me he's Kind of a boring person, doesn't go out much, not much flash. In fact, he's so down to earth that in the off season, he still lives with mom and dad, and he's not afraid to admit it. No shame in that either. You know, I mean, I'm only home for, you know, four and a half months out of the year, so I mean, getting a place of my own is kind of, I wouldn't say dumb, but if I'm staying at home with mom and, you know, getting a home cook me over once in a while, there's nothing wrong with that. And then there's the goggles that he wears on the mound. Most players would opt for contacts or even LASIK surgery, not the easygoing Cody Reed. Freshman year of high school, I uh, really had trouble seeing the, the catcher signs like in night games. So I go to my mom and we go to the eye doctor and they you know, prescribe some glasses to me. And at first I thought these are the most embarrassing things, I have to wear them. And I told my mom I'm not wearing them. And she was like, well, you better get out there and wear them. And so sophomore year came around. Our first, I think it was a day game, and we played, and I just wore them just because, you know, I didn't want to make mom mad. And uh, so I wore them, and I, had, I think I had a really good game that game, and they just stuck with me. This is the same pair I wear now is the same pair that I had for sophomore year of high school. The same pair? The same exact pair. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have like four or five others, but they're just, they just stay at home. I brought two with me, and one I've never put on. The other one is the same pair. If healthy, the future is most certainly bright for Cody Reed, but is the future now at the big league level? Cody says he'll do whatever it takes to make that happen sooner than later. I want to make it to the big leagues as quick as possible. They will ask me if a starter or reliever. I mean, as long as I'm up there, it doesn't matter what I'm doing. I'll be a left-handed second baseman if they want me to. But, you know, I'm up there. I want to be up there for as long as possible and as quick as possible. You know, and that's just that's the ultimate goal. Doug, very refreshing to hear a young guy say he'll play anywhere, even a left-handed second baseman. What do you think of that? I think that's pretty good. You know, Cody Rudy, <laughs> if he could play second as well as he's pitched over this spring train, and he's going to be a valuable asset wherever they put him. Got a two-seamer, a four-seamer, a nasty slider. He's working on a changeup. If he can perfect that, as you know, a changeup with a guy with that kind of stuff, oh, yeah. devastating. You really only need that fastball and changeup. Change speeds, change eye level. He's pretty good. Well, we'll see what happens as far as where he will start the season.